It's a time of testimony. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that are mourned, to proclaim the grace of the Lord. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He uses his servant, and in the domain of the supernatural, what the man can't see, what the man can't hear, what the man can't talk, God is able to do it, because he acts. And Christ said, my father acts, and me so I am acting. The testimony that follows will give us the reason why we say that God is using his servant, Evangelist Claude Kabundi Walesa, that he made the fire, the burning fire, by his prayer, miracle, signs, and wonders. I am greeting you all in the name of our Lord Jesus, children of revival and all the world. It's me, Pastor Clovis Kamangala, your brother that you saw last time. We've been testimonies that they saw the feet which was spoiled, the feet which was dead. I was at the point that I feel death coming to me. But with the grace of the man of God, my father, Father Cl Claude Kabundiwalesa, you see me sitting like this. I come to show you the greatness of that God, the greatness of that God of Walesa. Beloved, I don't want to remove other people, but to show the people that are speaking against this work of a revival church and with the way father pastor Claude Walesa, I myself had been touched by the hand of the Lord what we see it's just far myself I didn't have any hope that I will live again there was no hope that even if I'm alive I will not be full like I am I knew that when I get healed I will be handicapped with one feet by the grace of the lord by the power of god which is upon our father Claude kabundu walesa you see me as i am beloved i evangelized to the whole world not only for one country but is for the universe to show people the greatness of this god God of Walesa. Believe to that God because, beloved, we are walking in this world full of many problems, but you must be connected to something that will make you to be alive. That thing that you may be connected to is the word, the word that I myself I met. I'm a pastor, but beloved, let me tell you that the level of the work of God, they are very different. I can give you the example. We have electricity. By the electricity that we have, there is points that we're taking it. We can take it from the station. We can take it from the poles. But that power has got a source. And let me tell me that your power can't be on the ball, mine can be at the other point. But the one who's calling us is the source. It means I met that card. I was a pastor in a certain church that I can't call the name here. I was like a senior pastor. We had some other brothers and the other pastor was my junior. And the servant, the work that we're doing, God helped us for that work. The work was very well. 
before I come, the church was down. There was no prayer revival. There was nothing going on. But the grace that the God gave us, we come to help and the church regain revival. To myself, I thought, all the servants and all the children of God were joying because the word of God is going before. But beloved, let me tell you that the people that I was working with, they could not be together with me. There come a time where people come a lot. The people come to hear the word. Things was going uh, ahead. At that time, the fight started. I thought we are working all for one service, but things was not like the way I was thinking. One day, we sit in a meeting. We met with the number one as an apostle of the church. With what we're talking, the budget of the church, I heard that there is something wrong because I didn't understand why every explanation that I give, the pastor was against me. When I try to explain, the leader will not understand. And it's come that we come at the point of quarreling and we cannot understand each other. I get angry, beloved. That's why I like the preaching of my father. We must not make an error to leave Satan a space in our heart. Because the devil is powerful, but is not almighty. The almighty is only Jesus Christ that our father Pastor Walesa teach us. But the devil, when he take, if we give us an occasion that he may dominate on upon us, is only by our, our behavior or the problem that we can have and our attitude toward our God. I get angry, beloved. They come a lot of trouble. Then I went out with anger, I could not even say goodbye to our leader because he could not understand what I'm explaining him. Everything that I was showing him, the good one, he could not give any attention. Then I get angry, brethren. I went out. When I get to the station to get the bus, I feel the, the electricity in my body. Beloved, when I feel it, I understood that there is something wrong with me. I try to get home. I tell my wife that I'm not understanding well. We had a call in the church. But when I get to the station to take the bus, I feel this side, the electricity. That's that it's when that thing manifested. And we went to the hospital. We thought maybe it's something that can be treated, but it was a spiritual thing that they sent to me. They give me antibiotics, they give me medic medication. The more they give me medication, the more it comes big. It comes bigger. At the place that I can have change, but the thing is coming worse. Beloved, it come at the point where that, that thing become very big and it become very sore. In my heart, I feel pain. Myself, I was in distraction because I could not understand and I was blinded. You know, when the devil took you at a certain wicked point, he will make every effort to manage you so that you may not open your eyes because that time, the prayer, I was not into praying. I was weak. I was concentrated to know why they did this, why they did that. I was occupied with thoughts. I could not pray. That's why at that time the devil took advantage on me to make the pain coming strong into my heart. I get deep into distraction. I went to see some other people that they took me to the witch doctors. And the witch doctors tell me that I have a certain product 
that I can help you, you will not die. Beloved, I was not convinced, but because of the pain, the pain was so strong that I could not even sleep, I could not walk. They were carrying me, I can't eat properly, going to the toilet, they must took me. It was difficult, beloved. But when that man came, I accepted. I accepted not because he can help me, but because of the pain that sent me deeper and deeper into that direction. And the devil was working. Beloved, that man starts cutting me with lasers. He's cutting, I'm telling you, the feet was swollen, swollen at this, this size. He's cutting with lasers, he's putting those things. But something astonished me, because we come to that man who went to a certain man of God to pray for me. Beloved, when that man of God puts his hand on me, he told me that, no, I can feel that power is very strong. I can't manage, but you can go and find another solution. God will give favor to you. We, beloved, that man of God never who, who not help me. There were many people that prophesized me. They prophesied me to show me even the people that took it. It was with exactitude, but they could not help me. Beloved, they give me a testimony that that pastor is the last one, is the one who can help you. And then he could not help but they sent me to that witch doctors. That he, him is the last hope. When I went to that man, he touched me. He put his lasers and he cut me. When he touched me, he just said, what is this? And when he's touching me, he, he, I asked him, what's wrong? I say, never. I touched these things, but this, this one, it has got the power that I could not even manage to touch it. And I know that when I touch this power touched me already, I say to myself, Oh Lord, this man is the one that I was recommended to. He said that is the last hope. But when he touched me, he said that this is the last power. Beloved, but only for the money that I gave him, he carried on treating me. I'm telling you, instead of me to be healed, the power and the pain goes again more and more. Beloved, I'm telling you, he's cutting me, he's cutting me live without any any product. He was telling me that, you see what I'm doing, the product that I'm putting, nothing will happen again and it will not to swollen again. The next morning, it was become swollen. What? come back to him he starts cutting me again and when he's cutting me that pain is going straight into my heart below that pain i didn't believe that one day i can find myself into this pain beloved you know some other people get to this pain they can support but myself it was a death i could see the death coming slowly and slowly the third day i come to him they think the feet was swollen again. He loved when I came to the point to to the top of my thoughts. I took to my feet. My feet was swollen. The skin was was removing itself. It gets spoiled inside. I look out to my feet. I say, "Oh my God, I just get married now. My wife is still new." My father passed away and my mother, I'm an orphan with my child, who can keep on and feed my child? Beloved, at the night I was crying, and when I was crying, that man come and tell me that make an effort for him to get well. If he doesn't get healed, I don't know. Then I tell him, to your man, I don't understand. You asked me money, I gave you money. But now you give the law that I should not come with people 
they must buy plates and everything to wash to eat for myself. I respected all the conditions that you gave me, but which kind of effort that you are asking me to do for me to get healed. Beloved, I come, uh, I come thinking to myself, this is a death which is coming. On my dream, I see my brothers that pass away. I dream myself into the coffin. People are crying. I wake up and tell them, why are you crying? I'm not dead. Beloved, I had no hope. At what I could see was only death. It's come at the point that Father tell me, make an effort. But at the other hand, the people give me comfort saying that this one is the last hope. But the last hope is telling me that I can't solve this. Beloved, I stand and say, what? Me, I'm a servant of God. I pray also for people and the people get healed. But why me? For me to get healed, it comes at the point where the witch doctors touch me. And then they can't do nothing. They say, send me to look for another solution. What another solution can I look for? I was asking myself that I could not breathe nice. I feel the death coming. Beloved, is, the death is coming. I can feel it how I'm dying slow and slow. At that time, I take the solution that we should go to the pastor Walesa. I already heard that that man as God. I can't boast myself that I'm also a pastor, but we are different. But I feel to myself that if I go to this man, I will get healed. It's when they took me there. When I get to the church, I, we found the church already finished and the people were going out. Then we saw the pastor standing with the servant of that church in front of the church. Beloved, when I was in the church, I was in, when I was in the car, I was asking myself, am I going to get healed? Even if I get healed, if I get healed, am I going to walk again? Beloved, I forget something. The hospital that we went, beloved, let us give, let us trust to the God. The God is the last hope. He is the last that doctor gave they gave me the the testimony that for these things he can do it it will not even take one second but when i came to that doctor he told me that you no know, that is at the stage that the feet is we must cut it and i say what they must cut my feet and i said no before i cut my feet we should look we should seek for the god Exactly, beloved, the feet was at the point to be cut and because it was spoiled. Beloved, some other people said that is coming, that beloved, I'm working, my e the image is there, you should see the image. I can smell that my feet is spoiled. Other people could not come near me. Beloved, let me tell you, that the time that we get at the door of the church, the time that they took me down, beloved, I made a mouth, I said, a mouth of a half, I could not walk. Exactly for me to wash, it was very difficult. How can I get, get washed? The people could wet the, wet the cloth and clean me. The people were carrying me like a baby. Beloved, when we get to the church, for me to get around from the car, they carry me again. Beloved, when they are carrying me again, I feel the pain like I'm going to die at the spot. Beloved, let me tell you, if that day we went to other places, I really, I was a dead man. It should be that day for me to die because the smell that I, I feel from my body. Beloved, I can feel the smell when the people died. The people give that smell. That smell that when the people die and they take him to the mark, 
eat that smell. Hmm? You went through the prayer? You were not praying there again? Oh. I was praying then. But you went somewhere that you were praying. What happened? But when we get there, when I get to that church, in doing the work in that church, the apostle was happy with me and he put me the senior pastor of that church. And the pastor put you at the place in that church. You can you can take the feet, see how it's spoiled. It looks bad. They wanted to kill you, to kill you so that you can leave this world. They said they put you sicknesses for so that this pain come into your heart and you die. This you are dead, beloved. The time that they put me down, there was attraction. <laughs> beloved. That connection, it was like when someone meets somebody who's dead, they take him, they see him as nothing. They say, they, his, the husband is dead, but he didn't know that, that there is some people that are coming, which is the solution. Beloved, I was in the crowd of pain. All the people that was around me saying that, is he going to get healed? But there was someone who was in front of me, the powerful man of God. We loved that he is a big leap, like it or not, it is so because I see God at the end of this man. He was in front of me with the crowd of the solution, with the crowd of healing. Beloved, you know, when the man of God saw me. Beloved, just leave me. I saw people of God, but for this one, I never see him. A man of God like this one. My feet was spoiled. But when that man saw me, he said, Oh my God, oh my God, he touched my feet. Beloved, you know that I fear this man didn't to wear any gloves but this man this witch doctor to heal me he could wear gloves at the hospital to treat me they could wear gloves beloved but i saw something that i never say with with blood and every spoiling things on my feet but this man of god he touched me Beloved, oh my God, you know, when this father touched me, I knew that it will pain me again because that witch doctor, when he was touching me, I was crying like a baby. All the things that was putting me, I was crying for the whole world to hear. But beloved, let me tell you, I'm telling you seriously, this was the hand. In my life, I will never see these things again. Why? Because when the father touched me, I feel, I feel cold. His hand was cold like a baby. When the man of God is praying, is touching, charms to come and kill people. I'm going to pray for you. Put your feet like this. That's the pastor is praying. That's the pray the pastor is praying. The pastor is touching in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The pastor is praying in the name of Jesus. Look how the feet the feet is broken. 
of all the fittest God in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Pastor is praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything is coming out. It comes out instantly in Jesus' name. And I say your feet must come to the normal just now. Every every demon comes out from this body in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, and this wound must be healed in Jesus' name. God do wonders this moment. This child must have the deliverance. Your servant must have immediate healing in Jesus Christ. The hand of God must be manifested. All the pain must come out to the ground. for me to hear pain I feel the coldness coming into my body when the father touch me and start pulling down suddenly I feel all my body a power which comes from my head until my feet is following the movement of his hands when he's pulling down the pen is coming is coming is following the direction of his hands when he said the name of jesus i feel that power it comes out Miracle happening in Jesus' name. All everything they did, I pull it down to the ground. I pull all this power and putting it down to the ground. And I make this speech to become as normal. Amen. Bring him water to wash it. Stand up. Beloved. What I'm saying, I'm saying to the whole world to believe the greatness and the power of this God. Beloved, this is electricity power. Electricity station, the source of electricity. Even the Bible says, try, try this God. Let that all the spirit that will stop you in Jesus name. May the God of Waleza Make that all these hindrances be removed and you meet this God. I'm sure that if you met this God, you will testify like me. Beloved, I'm telling you, the time that he finished, he said, Amen. Beloved, he told me, stand up. Suddenly, I hear, eh? I hear that, and I feel like standing because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm light. Suddenly I stood, beloved. When I stood up, Father tell me. Papa, 
Israel. Mutundishe Yesu. Mwimbe ni kazi. God of Wanesa, he meant that me I could walk. That's why, beloved, let me tell you the whole world, the whole world, I'm telling you that I want to open to remove my feet because this that feet was like this. Let me remove my shoes so that you can see how my feet is, beloved. I'm opening, I'm taking off my shoes so that I can show you. I'm removing my socks. It was damaged from this side. You see this skin that you see. I never know that this skin will come like this, beloved. All this was spoiled. Now it comes out here. This scars, this is the scar. But my dad already healed me. That's why some other people say that. That man, where did he go? Is he healed? Is he walking? Here I am. I'm walking. I'm walking. I put my feet on. My my feet is now all full. It's me, Pastor Clovis, come. But one thing that makes me happy is that I could not understand. But for the father to ask me money, to for me to pay for the prayer that he did, I'm telling you, Papa, Papa took his own money and gave to me. I'm the voice of the watchers, your slave, your work, the man who sees the wonders, the work of God that do to his saints, who shows it openly. It's me, your humble servant. You see this testimony that you hear? That man that you identify. He is a pastor, the anointed of men. He is not a believer of the central spirit. He was a man of other domination. He suffered a lot. You saw that feet was damaged. But listen to what he's saying from his mouth. He said there is dimension and dimension. Really? Really there is dimension and dimension. Because he walked places from places. They touched me from different people, but nothing happened. But he acknowledged that the Lord Jesus Christ, he anointed other people. He, may, he used the men of God for his head to work in those kind of things. He said this power is above all the other powers. It's not the power that we pull from, from the wires. It's the power from heaven. Is, it means what God made for, to this humble servant with his children. Beloved, you know, if God give gift to someone is for a, a certain thing or a certain period, but other people doesn't believe that this power can work. Look to this pastor, damaged feet. He made to a power the electricity which is above all electricity the power which is above all the power even you who's looking at me the one who's watching me maybe you are tired of your own problem but there is only one person that gives solution to your problem it's only jesus christ look how he come near to death he could not move but he made the hand of god he show he see things that he never saw let me tell you, Jesus Christ is alive. He is blessing. He is setting free. He is still washing people. Don't get tired. Come near. Come to the church. You will see the hand of God. Even you have full of, full of trouble, 
full of problem, the main solution, the one who died on the cross, he shed this his blood, Jesus Christ. Look how the pastor stood. Look how the pastor started dancing because he saw the hand of the Lord. Even you who's watching me, sitting on your sitting room or in the car, you hear me. There is someone who never give the solution that's moving. The eternal solution is only Jesus Christ, the one who raised people, who made the things that people get tired of and renew it. Look how the pastor is laughing. Look how the pastor is dancing. Look how the pastor is singing. Because he saw Jesus Christ face to face, he see the wonders of God face to face. He see the power of God face to face. Even you come near to the crowd of redeemers, you will see what you never see. You will touch what you never touch. As we are in spiritual center, we are in Chasa, in Bon Marché. Our reference is supermarket regard. When you come, you will see the hand of God. What things can still stand still without change? Come to this spiritual center, you will see the hand of God. Jesus of Nazareth, this God who opened, who give rest to those are tired, is waiting for you. Come to the address that I give you, you will see the, you see the hand of God. Our God is healing. Carries.